sit down. What do you think you're doing? You'll see. Are you going to sit down? Um, where? Anywhere. Over there? It's fine. Please don't, but be careful. How's, it, how's this? Just fine. Well, aren't you going to sit down? Oh, that's better. Now maybe we can talk about this, Jennifer. Uh, you know, if maybe if we waited until John came no, home. No, 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 we're not waiting until John comes home. You and I are going to settle this just between the two of us. Please, can't you put that thing down? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, wouldn't you find it rather difficult to talk with that thing staring at you? I'm afraid that's just something you're going to have to get used to. Jennifer, please, what do you want from me? I told you what I want. I want John. John loves me, Eunice. And I love him. It's just as simple as that. Yes, that's, that's true. I know that's true. He's told me. Jennifer, he, he told me how, how deeply he cared for you when you were together. I'm talking about now, Eunice. Right now, John and I love each other very much in a way that you couldn't possibly begin to understand. Well, yes, of, of course he, he, he still cares. Of, I mean, it, would, it wouldn't be natural if he didn't. Of, I, I know he has a very deep affection for you. He... I'm talking about love. That's what I'm talking about, about love. The kind of love that only happens once in a lifetime. That's what we have. That's what you're trying to destroy. Jennifer, please, where do you get these ideas from? From John. From John? All right. Uh, I tell you what, we'll, we'll wait until John gets home, and then if he says he feels the way you say, then I promise you I will not stand in your way. No, Eunice, haven't you begun to understand yet? We're not waiting until John comes home. John is the one who sent me here. Jennifer, you can't believe that. Can't I? John planned this with me down to the last detail. Do you think I'd come here by myself today knowing, knowing that Susie would be here? Do you think I would have come here if I hadn't known that she'd be at the Hartford house? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. John's told me everything. He's been very helpful. That's impossible. Is it? Is it? What about that shirt that you gave him? That was very sweet of you to go back and get that shirt after he admired it in the window. <laughs> How'd you like that movie about Mexico? Oh my God! You see what I mean? John has been very helpful. What are you waiting for, Jennifer? What? What are you waiting for? Get it over with. Finish it. That's what I'm doing. That... Who are you talking to? Oh, that's right. You just play dumb. Play the helpless little martyr. Do it. Now. Now. I want her to know why. I want her to know why we're doing it. Why, who's doing it? John and I. You're talking to John? John wanted you to let him go, and you wouldn't do it. You had your chance. He wants to come back to me. He loves me, and he is going to come back. That's right, baby. I love you. Now pull the trigger. Get rid of her. 